Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I used and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers, it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi guys, so I'm very excited to be going over the Bella collection for you today. This is the Twilight Foil collection that I just came out with, and I did foil this in my regular gold because I think it will go the best with my mock spread that I'm doing. We will see, but I also just wanted to show it off to you as it is a bit darker than my light gold, which used to be like my traditional gold until I brought in the regular gold. So. Um, this color is now available for most listings along with all of the other new colors I brought to my shop. So there are 46 total, um, not including the unfoiled option for some listings. And I will be going back and reformatting the previous um, foil bundles because they are the ones that currently do not have all 46 options available. Um, however, if you do want to get those um, like upon request until I officially like add in the new options, just pick any foil color for those listings and then put in the notes to seller which um, new color you actually want for those bundles. So, yep, so I decided to do this collection because it will go very well with the newly released Bella kit from Scribble Prints Co., which I did order yesterday or a couple days ago, I think. So, I don't actually have that kit to show you, um, but it also goes with previous um, Twilight art that was released that um, I am hoarding the Glam Planner version of that art and for the mock spread I am also using that art from another shop. Um, so there are a couple of options for you to use this art with but I just had to do it because it seemed really popular and I do like Twilight. So goodness gracious. All right. So let's just start with the underlays as usual. So we do have the large option, which is the busiest option, and we have some design elements in here. We have um, Bella's pickup truck, and then we have a little succulent, which I did use the succulent instead of um, the cactus that she brings to Forks with her because it just looks better, but it's the same kind of vibe, Arizona vibes. Um, and then we have an apple, a sliver of a moon, um, which is one of the wolfish elements I included along with the wolf paw prints. And then there's also a baseball bat in there because I just think it's the funniest thing ever that the Cullens play baseball. Like that seems so random. And the, the movie explanation, which I think is the same as the book explanation, like doesn't really seem to cut it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It just seemed like a weird element to shoehorn in there um, to like explain, I guess, how powerful the Cullens are. I don't know, that they need to play like baseball during thunderstorms only, I don't know, it just seemed weird, very weird, but I thought it was funny, so I have that baseball bat in there, and then there are raindrops throughout the collection as well. I will be doing a rainy day collection at some point, because there are so many rainy day kits that I would want to do foil for, but, um, so that is to explain the fact that I didn't really go ham with the raindrops, um, because I wanted to save, you know, some stuff for that collection, but there are bits and pieces scattered throughout. So that is the large underlays, and then we have the medium version as well, which is just a less sparse, sparse version of the same elements. And then for the two fun underlay options, we have one which is just the succulents, and these of course can be pulled into any, any foil collection or any spread that these might match. Same with this one, which is trees. This one, like, I kind of took a risk on. It's like, it seems almost a little bit too abstract, um, but it is supposed to be like a forest. And I did choose the trees that match the Squirrel Prince Co. kit because they are like the background for the entire kit. Um, so I chose kind of similar looking trees. And 
kind of tried to put them together in a way where you could still tell that it's supposed to be trees, so I hope that kind of works out. A lot of you have picked this up already, so I'm glad that it's it turned out to be a success, even though it was definitely a risk that I took. Um, but yeah, this can definitely be pulled into a ton of other spreads that are like outdoorsy themed. So yeah, definitely pretty versatile there if you do like that look. So that is the underlays. And then we have the full confetti full box overlays. This is the, um, the full confetti pattern. So it has the most amount of design elements and confetti dots. So for the elements in here, we have a wolf and the moon, we have the succulent, and then a vinyl record because Edward has those in his room, he's a big music buff. I try to include like um, icons representing like pretty much all the main characters. And then we have the wolf paw prints, and then the baseball bat and apple, and then some elements are repeated, and then there's raindrops of course. So that is the full version, and then we have the medium confetti, which is available in the four corner, and then this is the three corner, just to show you. So each one of the four corners is missing, so if you have clip art on a full box in a corner that you don't want to cover up, you can grab this sheet for that purpose. And then we have the small confetti size, which I'll just do a quick comparison to show you how much smaller it is. So you can still kind of see everything, but it is definitely smaller, so it covers up less of the clip art in general. And that is also available in the four corner, the three corner, and then this is what the two corner looks like. So we have the standard two corner options, and then we have just the bottom two and the top two corners, which are great for um, like fashion person boxes. So there's that, and also just a disclaimer, any imperfections that you may see are only for these like demo versions. Um, your pieces that you order will not contain any of those imperfections. So next we have the tall box sheets, which has both standard sizes of tall boxes. Um, this one, which is like two times the height of a full box, um, is typically found in Squirrel Prints Co. kits and also Apple Blossom Prints in several other kit formats. And then we have the shorter one, which is I think 1.5 times the half box height can be found in Glam Planner or Caress Press kits. So if you get this sheet, you'll have whichever option you need. And then we have just some um, flag overlays at the bottom as well, just to fill in that room. And then same sort of thing for the big box overlay. Um, we do have a taller option for the Glam Planner sized big boxes and then a shorter option for paper candy art. Um, and I think Apple Blossom prints. They're all a little bit different, but um, I can, if you like DM me, I can tell you exactly how many millimeters these are if you want to get out your ruler and see what size you need. Um, and there are also flags at the bottom of that sheet as well. And then for the double box scenes, we have just the classic confetti one at the top. And then for the bottom one, um, where I typically do a kind of a scene, I didn't have like that much clip art to work with. So um, I just did the pickup truck with the succulent in it because it's just really fun to put things in the bed of the pickup truck and then the wolf over here moon right there and then rain as well and this will look pretty good with the scroll prints color double box scene i think because it is like the exterior of their house so it's like outside so the moon and rain elements make sense and also the driveway is like right in this bottom left corner so like the pickup truck could be in the driveway kind of um, and then the wolf is like kind of where like the woods are, so like that makes sense as well. So I think this will look really good with that. Or if you just want the classic confetti to match the rest of the full box overlays, you can do that as well. Um, this is the one that will come with the foil bundle. So if you do want the fun scene, you do have to purchase that separately. And then we have the headers sheet, which has the more sparse confetti option, which is like my new version of the confetti header overlays. And then we have two just like solid design options. So we have the pickup trucks over here and then the um, the wolf themed ones, which are just the moon and the paw prints. And this sheet will be reformatted um, probably in a few weeks after I've moved and settled in everything and I have time to like start working on like new products and reformats and stuff. I will be selling um, each design of these headers separately but in like the same quantities. So I think it will be eight of each. I haven't quite figured out whether I'll do eight or nine of each but you will be able to purchase each design separately so you can like build your own header set. So if you want to use only one style of header you can just buy three of those sheets. Um, and if you want only two of them, you can mix and match as you please. And then we have the deco sheet, which has our large elements at the bottom, medium, 
um, and then tiny, tiny cluster, and then the super tiny cluster. And then just an extra fun one that I add whenever I have a design element that it makes sense to do so with. Um, so for the large ones, we have the pickup truck, wolf, and then succulents. And then for the medium, we have those same ones, plus the wolf paw prints, which I had room to do two of, and then the moon, apple, and baseball bat. And then kind of the same stuff for the smaller, the tinier ones. And I did remove some that like didn't make sense to have super tiny, like the succulent. Um, and then we have our like cluster ones. And then even tinier versions of those. And then little tiny raindrop cl clusters as well, which I will be also using a lot more in the Rainy Day Foil collection whenever that goes up. But I just had to include some in this one because it just seems so fun. And I mean, it's the setting is like Forks, Washington, where it rains a lot. So I figured you would kind of need those. And then we have the full box overlays, which we have our two border ones. This one has the wolf and moon. And then this one has the apple. And of course, we have the rain one. And then the fun border one there with all of the icons. And then we have the dangles and swoops all in one sheet now. This was a recent reformat because I just figured you had too much when they were on their own individual sheets. And if you're buying one, if you're buying dangles, you're probably going to be buying swoops also. So this just makes it more convenient for you to only pick up one sheet and have, you know, I think plenty of what you need. So get your super long dangles, the more medium ones, and then the short ones. And then you get your larger swoops, smaller swoops, all different orientations. And then your super tiny swoop is the apple, which I did remove the leaf on that because it, it would have made the design too big. So we have a teeny tiny apple there. And yeah, I jam packed the sheet, so pretty much every space is filled. And then dividers, I also recently reformatted, so they are now a sixth sheet. Um, instead of like a full size sheet that contained just the like plain simple line dividers because you can purchase those as part of the basics collection if you want but I decided just to make the collection specific dividers on their own tiny sheet um, because it makes more sense if you're um, choosing premium matte because this sheet is available in premium matte or clear glossy if you're choosing premium matte it makes less sense to have the simple line dividers those are like only kind of a glossy thing that it makes sense to have those with um, so that's kind of why I separated them out so you wouldn't end up with like a whole bunch that you didn't need. Um, but yeah. So we have our like simple line dividers with the design elements in them. And then we have the fun dividers. So we have just the baseball bat and apple alternating. And then the tiny dainty one, which I kind of always include one in this tiny dainty format. We just have the wolf paw print. And we have a row of the pickup trucks. And then I had to do a rain one as well. So there's alternating raindrops. Those would look really good over like the top of a full box as well. And then we have our quote boxes. So you guys gave me so many quotes, so we do have a sampler after this, but I always do a like a full sheet of the quotes. Um, and I usually include some extra design elements too that you don't really find elsewhere in the collection. So we have the two with the confetti borders. One of them says, you are my life now, which is what Edward says to Bella. And so there's a silhouette of both of them. And then this one is, this is the skin of a killer, which he also says to her when he's like sparkling like a diamond in the sun, which I just thought was hilarious. And it, it does seem to be like everybody's favorite quote. It's so funny. There were like so many like hilarious cringy quotes when I rewatched this movie. It was, it was a, a good time. But yeah, so there's those two. And then we have, um, so the lion fell in love with the lamb. And then on this one we have, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him, and I did have to change up the fonts on this one a little bit to make the words all fit, but those are like, they're all very like full cover quotes, so if you want some that are less full cover, um, you can get the quote sampler, which does have three of the same quotes as on this one, um, but then also contains four unique ones, so we have It's the Fluorescence, um, which is like, what he says to her when she notices that his eyes are like, I don't know, amber or something. They like change color and he says, oh yeah, it's the lights. <laughs> uh, no. And then you better hold on tight, spider monkey. And then, so are you enjoying the rain? Which is like when he's trying to make small talk with her is like their first official conversation. It's really funny. And then you're like my own personal brand of heroin. So we have all of these as floating quotes that you can put anywhere. And these are going to be really good for the Swirl Prince Co. Bella kit because it's very character heavy. And so you have characters filling up pretty much most of the 
um, most of the full boxes and so there's space at the bottom of those where it's not covering up their faces that would be great for like smaller quotes like this so like it's the fluorescence would look really good over the Edward one so definitely great to have that option but if you like want to pick up both then you'll definitely like have some unique options as well and then of course we have to do the scripts so I did kind of like reformat these as well I did take off the movie marquee overlays because I felt like they weren't really being used um and like while I like the idea I feel like it's also kind of unnecessary considering you can just take like the dangles and swoops and like kind of make your own of those if you want to do that so it just seemed kind of silly and also it was just like taking up space on the scripts sheets that could be filled with more scripts and also um I took out the ones that were my handwriting um for the cursive because I am going to like try to turn my script or my cursive into like a font and make it like more professional looking um and so um, in this like in between phase before I do that I'm gonna try to like stay away from the previous format so I just did my um, block half fill font um, because I did turn my writing into a font for that and then just a sans serif font um, below that and then I did include cursive at the bottom which is um, basically the same as what I use for the quote overlays just because I wanted to have something um, so yeah we have twilight scripts that can be used for both the books or the movies um so we have some larger ones up here um which can be used for like little things or fancy labels or whatever and then these smaller ones are more versatile they can of course be used for the aforementioned but also these are a better size for movie marquees so that'll give you enough space to put an icon next to it in the marquee um so we have just three rows of the Twilight ones in the smaller size, and then we have Twilight New Moon, then Twilight Eclipse, Twilight Breaking Dawn, and then Twilight Midnight Sun. So all of these are kind of like the book scripts. Um, and then these three can, or these two, I guess, can also be used for movies. I don't think they're turning Midnight Sun into a movie, but who knows, there have been rumors about that for a while. And then if you are watching the movies, then you'll want the two different versions for Breaking Dawn, part one and two. So that's what these at the bottom are for. So we have that, and this, of course, is available unfoiled as well if you want to pull it into multiple spreads. And then let's get into the bottom washi. So it's not as many as there usually are, I feel like. So our, like, mo most classic standard option is just this one with the alternating elements. We have the succulent, apple, and baseball bath, and then all three are available as deco options on the sheet as well. And then I did just do a similar one, but with the more wolfish elements. So we have the wolf, the paw print, and the moon for this one. And then I did really like the pickup checks, so we have a whole row of those as well. Yeah, that's a really big oopsie right there, but foiling is not always perfect. And then we have the confetti option as per usual, and the flags. So we have the apple, baseball bat, moon, and wolf paw print on there, as well as some raindrops. I think that one turned out pretty good. And then we have the 10 and 7 millimeter if you're using a glam planner kit, like the one that I'm hoarding. So we have the pickup truck and raindrops for the 10 millimeter, and then to see confetti that I used for the headers um, for the 7 millimeter, and then your two glam planner sized flag overlays as well. So if you're using this sheet and you need a 15 millimeter to go along with it, you probably aren't going to do this one because you know it does have way too many pickup trucks. I mean, you can't. I won't stop you, but like that's why I have um, these other two options as well. If you want to kind of mix it up, so you can either mix or match, whichever you would like to do. So that is that, and then of course you have the 32mm, which I'll be using for my uh, my mock spread, which I think the kits I like always tend to use for my mock spread, their bottom washi is like still like only 30mm or something, so these are always a little bit big, but um, I think most kits now, or like the newer Squirrel Prince Co. Um, intact bottom washi before she reformatted to make them both split, um, so like format before last I feel like, which we all probably still have a ton of kits in those are i think 32 millimeters so this will match a lot of those um and you can always of course trim it if you are using a kit that has a smaller um bottom washi that is intact but so yeah i just decided to keep this one simple as well so we do have the raindrop overlays and then um, we have one option for the left hand side so we have the um, succulent and then 
that little brown cactus is more similar to the cactus that she actually brought in the movie but it's I kind of thought it was a little bit uglier compared to the succulent so I didn't want to like th you know use it throughout the whole collection but there's a little nod to it in there for quote-unquote movie accuracy but um so we have that and then the baseball bat is lying down so it's kind of like on a counter maybe a little scene there and then there's two options for the right hand side one of them has the weekend banner the other one does not depending on which you want to use so um this option without just has the pickup truck and then there's the wolf and the pickup truck because again i think it's just really funny to put things in the bed of the pickup but and then it's howling at the moon right there and then the option with the weekend banner just has the same thing but i just put it um in a different place so everything is kind of rearranged there because you guys really do like scenes, I have decided to kind of just try to do scenes wherever I can for the 32 millimeter, um, even if that means doing a little bit of a simpler scene because I don't have I don't have that much I can work with, and I kind of try to stay away from doing like silhouettes of the characters, or you know, or too much like copyrighted stuff throughout the entire collection. Um, a because of copyright, um, it's like you know easier to get detected, and then B. Um, just because I feel like it's kind of tackier a little bit. And I don't really talk about that too much, but, um, I mean, all of us have kind of, like, come to the understanding that, you know, we are obsessed with copyrighted stuff and a lot of the shops are just, like, willing to take that risk. And a lot of us have, you know, continued without having any issues with that. Like, you know, Swirl Prince Go, she's, like, the biggest kit shop, like, in the world, and yet, you know, look at the kind of stuff that she has. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see where that takes all of us, but, um, and then here is the bundle. So this foil bundle is available in the mini, which does not have the underlays, and then the ultimate, which it does, and if you choose the ultimate, you can choose whichever underlays you want from all that are available with the collection, um, and then it is available unfoiled, and then foiled in any of the 46 foil colors, and then there is, of course, the add-on sheet available for both the mini and the ultimate. So this is just, like, the ultimate. So here are the Here's a layout for the full box page, the very first page. You have two of your confetti full, and then um, two confetti medium four corners, two medium two corners, and then the classic like double box scene. And then here's an example of the large underlays, but again, you can pick your underlays, you get two sheets of those. And then the third page has the headers and then the deco, just full size of both versions or both sheets rather and then a fourth page has the bottom washi i chose the like most classic solid pattern as i usually do um so if you want a different one you'll just get that a la carte and then the confetti for the bottom then we have your weekend banner date dots tiny deco and then dividers and then for the optional add-on page you get two additional underlays i did the succulents and then the medium three corner you get a couple of those and then two from the full box overlay sheet and then two from the quotes sheet as well so i did take the it's the fluorescence um quote and then turn it into like a whole full box overlay instead of just a floating quote um because i figured it would be really easy to use that over one of the character boxes like i said and so that is the bundle all right and so for the mock spread i am using this art which I don't even know who this artist is. This came out forever ago. I feel like it's probably somebody that I'm following now. Like, I have an inkling of who it's by, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it must have come out forever ago, because I don't remember when it... I don't think I was, like, in the planner world when it came out, but I did pick it up from Glam Planner, and then also from Simply a Mess, which is what this kit is. So, um, I did think gold would look best with this, so I do have some other just random gold elements, because I didn't have, like, the full complete kit, so... Um, I didn't have the glitter headers with this kit and I've already like moved my um, like leftover glitter header stash to the new apartment so I don't have that with me so I had to use washi tape for all the headers so you aren't going to see too many examples of the header overlays but I tried to leave some space in the sidebar so I could kind of show that off there but yeah I'm just going to go ahead and lay down some stickers on top of this spread and then I will come back and show you how it looks all laid out. Let's go ahead and get into that.
Okay, so here we have the completed mock spread. So you can see some deco bits scattered throughout, some at the top, and then just some throughout in the boxes. And then we have our dangles and swoops that you can see kind of everywhere. And then I did include one of each of the dividers. How cute is that raindrops one? I really love that one. And then there's the little paw prints one right there. Some larger deco bits. And then you can see the 32 millimeter at the bottom. We have the quote there. And then one full cover quote right there. As well as the other full box overlays. And then there's a perfect example of the um, small confetti two corner overlays that goes over the fashion box and then the underlays as well. So we have our succulent underlays, medium, large, and then the trees, which I actually think looks pretty cool. So there you go. There is the, oh yeah, and also these scripts. There's Twilight Eclipse, and there's an example of how the largest script fits in the movie marquee and so it just kind of barely fits there although um you can use it with like a glam planner movie marquee because those are a lot bigger then there's new moon and then there's a larger twilight one right there so i think that is it so that is the mock spread can't wait to see your guys's spreads with this and see what you pick up and in what foil colors so this is available in my shop now it is the bella collection and thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be amazing. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.